In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21 from the Jets Gun Bunch. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I have here on my YouTube channel. We post several videos every single day to make sure that you have the best tips in the Madden community, both on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball. And like I said, if you want to get access to those every single day, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be talking about the play Jets Dig from the Gun Bunch. And before I dive too deep into this, I do want to let you know that I actually have a full Gun Bunch offensive ebook that I released um, about a month ago. And if you want to get that act, if you want to get that full ebook for just fifteen dollars, it is available in the description. Um, and there's there's going to be a link right there for you to be able to get it. In my opinion, it is the best offense in the game, at least right now, um, at least the most consistent. Now. We're gonna be talking today about this play Jets Dig. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this play, but one of my favorite little features of this play is that you can basically throw this table route pretty much against anything. You can pretty much throw this table route against almost any coverage in the game. Whether it's man, whether it's zone, it really doesn't matter. It's all about just quick height throw and then just basically trucking out of the field. If you have Derrick Henry and Mutt, or if you have Marcel Reese, you're gonna be able to truck upfield relatively easily with this. So I love that. At that aspect of this play. Now the next thing that I need to do is basically learn, figure out a way that I can create a nice little flood concept with this play with the ability on the right side to leverage my hitch routes. And so what I like to do is I like to do basically double hitches. Um, now what's very popular out of the gun bunch is to go ahead and pretty much traditionally you'll almost always motion out the circle receiver, at least the way I run it. So what you'll see here is when I motion this out, it's going to create a two-pronged attack um, through the air. You're going to basically be able to hit both of your tight end and your outside guy uh, on a hitch route. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, for example, you left this as is, okay? And let's say, for example, the defense shifted and they wanted to go play some cover three, but they wanted to play some cover three Mabel because they're you know tired of getting hit with flood concepts from Bunch. This is a great little route combination because what's going to happen is this tight end is going to basically sit right there on that little hitch. Now, I highly, highly recommend when you're running this play to take advantage of this tight end hitch. It's one of the only uh, plays in the game that has a tight end on a hitch route. Now, one thing I do want to dive into against man coverage, uh, and that's why I actually like to use double hitches with a motion. What you're going to notice is against man coverage, you are literally going to be able to throw this tight end route against any man coverage in the game. As long as you have a gun on your quarterback, right there, I was literally man aligning and I was shading underneath. I'm going to call man coverage again. I'm going to press. I'm going to shade inside and underneath. And I just want you to watch kind of how this tight end route works. As long as I low ball it right there, you see, and again, right there, I probably shouldn't low ball it because of the of the lineman. But as long as I get the ball out of out of my hands to to that receiver, I'm gonna have a pretty good shot at hitting this. Let me show it to you again. And again, we're just gonna pass it to the right. And as you can see, it does a really good job of beating uh, beating the man coverage. Now, for example, let's say I jump over here to Tampa two, and I want you to watch this route against the Tampa two. You see against stock yellow zones. I don't know of a stock yellow zone in the game with the exception of a bluff blitz dropped from your defensive line that is going to do a decent job of stopping this. So right here, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to shift over to that cover three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my uh, defensive tackle here on a little vertical hook. As you can see right there, he's going to drop into a vertical hook. And I want you to watch how he does against this, this little X receiver. You see that he's going to drift, 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 and then come back down on the ball. The beauty of this is you can always hit the tight end. It's one of the secrets, in my opinion, of a good gun bunch. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to make some adjustments. Now, if I shift it over here um, to this nickel 335 wide, you can see that I can basically call it bluff blitz, and I can put that guy into a little three-rec hook zone. Now, the three-rec hook zone, as you can see, it doesn't stop it. He is able to go, I'm able to complete that as a consistent read. The reason this matters is because it's going to force your opponent to have to do a very specific thing in his coaching adjustments to be able to stop this. This is why this matters. So uh, what you're going to see here is I'm going to have to go down and I'm going to have to put my hooks on five yards. Okay. Now, more than likely, if they're playing gun bunch, you are probably very likely to see something like this right here, a 25, five and five Mabel coverage that is very, very popular. And it's honestly, it's very, very effective as well. 
But let me come back out in this and let me show you kind of what this means for the offense as far as when they start doing that. Now, again, you can't adjust yellows just on the right side. You can't adjust yellows just on the right or the left. It literally has to affect every yellow zone that they put on the field, meaning every yellow zone that they put on the field will drop at a five-yard depth. So if I jump back over here now and run that cover two style defense again, uh, what you're going to notice, if I throw, if I try to throw this route to the tight end, now you see they sit on it, and as you can see, they intercept it just like they're supposed to. The reason that that matters for the offense, though, is you have now opened up a ton of space in which you can throw this square receiver wide open. So if you see them sitting down, you're going right there with your with your pass to Devonte Adams on the outside. Another thing that you can do uh, with this play is you can take your your circle receiver and you could put him on a, for example, you could put him on something like a smart rabbit hitch route, okay? So that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to put him on a smart rabbit hitch route. I'm going to motion him just a little bit to get him outside, get a little bit more spacing. But what you'll see here, look at that, the five-yard, the, because, again, remember, we're dropping those five-yard zones. The five-yard zones do not cover um, do not cover that route. The reason this matters is because a lot of people, when they play bunch, they are going to run this defense right here. I can almost bet you money that if you are running bunch, they are going to do something something to this effect. Okay, almost almost unanimously, if you play someone that runs gun bunch, this is what the defense is going to look like. Literally, I mean, it's almost it's almost I, it's almost automatic. Well, what you can what you can really positively tell as a result of this video is you can now see why they have to put them at five yards because if they don't, that tight end hitch is going to be open. But if they do put them at five yards, you see that now you've got your dig route. So it's kind of a chess match. Now, if they sit on the hitch, more than likely the dig's going to be open. If they sit on the dig or they drift from the hitch, they just simply throw the hitch route. All the while, I have not even talked about how this is probably one of the best cover three beaters in the entire game. So what you're going to notice here is if I run this play and they're running me uh, in a little cover three situation, you can see that I can basically outside pass lead this little fade route against cover three for one play touchdowns all day long. Very easy little pass lead for me to be able to hit that as a one play touchdown. The other cool part about this is again, the more underneath coverage they play, you're gonna find the better that this route to the R1 receiver is going to become. So you see here, if they're playing those underneath coverage, you can hit this in the seam, a nice little quick little seam dot right up the, right up the middle of the seam of the cover two that you can hit. Another thing that you'll be able to do with this, um, again, especially if you can run some solid hitch routes and you really can get the hitches working a little bit for you. This R1 receiver, if I pass lead him all the way to the right here, you see that I can basically kind of swerve catch it over the cover four drop. So I'm now able to be cover four, cover three, cover two, cover two man, all within one little um, little piece of you know little piece of offense. The other really cool part to me is if again if they're if they're running those quick zones, that's why your first read is always to your running back here. If you feel like you can get this ball to your running back. I want you to really work on getting this ball out here. So just getting this quick out right here, and then you're just going to truck right up field. And right there, I didn't get a great animation. I didn't do a good job of getting the ball out there. But you're going to see that more times than not, I'm going to be able to hit this and then just simply get up field for a couple yards, maybe three to five. Um, occasionally, you'll get more. You'll get like five to 15 if they don't know how to stop this. But this this little quick, little quick dot right here um, is a very consistent read for you against zone coverage. It really doesn't matter what kind of zone coverage. It just matters that they're running zone coverage. Let me show you another example here. This is a, a Tampa 2. And again, you see that Tampa 2 because, again, that route is something that you can really develop and, and it can get open against a lot of things. So, you know, the beauty of this, you can leave the flat route to circle if you want to. Um, but as you'll see, I mean, the beauty of this is just how consistent that little hitch is. I would definitely recommend testing that out. But again, if you guys want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide, it is available in the description for just 15 bucks. It goes through everything you need to know about the New York Jets gun bunch. Um, I actually have a whole playbook for you out of the Jets playbook where you get the bunch tight end, the trips tight end offset as well uh, added on there. And that's available in the description as well. But I would encourage you to get that $15 gun bunch ebook if you're just wanting to learn more about the gun bunch. It's going to teach you everything that I know um, and everything that I've learned from other people in the community about the gun bunch. It's a very, very good offensive guide, and I highly recommend it. If you haven't picked it up yet, I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can, can get that offensive ebook. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys later on this afternoon in another video.